Hey guys and welcome to today's video. I'm on a new camera lens today so let me know what you think. I just purchased a new 40mm lens so I'm, gonna, I'm testing it out for this video to see how it works. But I'm sat way further away from the camera than I normally am because of like the focal range which is weird. Also it's quite warm so I've got my window open so if you hear any you know random noises it's from outside. But as you can probably tell from the title of today's video I am moving to LA. So I just thought I'd come on here and have a little bit of a quick chat with you about why that's happening, when it's happening, etc. Because it's kind of exciting. And also, if you watch me a lot, you probably know because I mentioned it a few times throughout the last six months. Um, but if you don't watch me a lot, then you're probably really confused because you'll have seen titles of my other videos and you'll know that I just finished second year at Cardiff University. I'm not quitting university. Just putting that out there. Basically, I'm going on a study abroad semester, um, so I'm still going to be studying whilst I'm in LA, but just at a different university, and luckily their university modules kind of line up with um, mine, so I'm doing the same number of modules, I'm doing the same number of modules as I would if I was staying in Cardiff. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of content coming because obviously I'm gonna be in LA, which is like, you know, the kingdom of good content. So I'm excited about that. But um, yeah, I, I wanted to study in America for the longest time. I actually originally, when I was applying to universities, I applied to American universities as well as English ones. I even took the American SATs, which are their kind of which are their big exams that they do over there um, and if you are like a frequent watcher of my channel then you might know that I have a health condition called cyclical vomiting syndrome and basically due to that being very forward. Due to that occurrence during my A-levels I didn't do as well in my SATs as I had hoped and um, whilst I was waitlisted for my top university over there um, originally and if I'd emailed I, like, I knew the advisor quite well by that point because I'd had an interview with her over here then I don't know I probably could have worked my way onto that course but at the time I decided that I'd actually rather pursue going to university in England and just doing a study abroad either a year or um, a term so as you can imagine when I got to Cardiff one of the first things I did was look at the study abroad options for my course and luckily they did do study abroad. I wouldn't have picked Cardiff as a uni to go to if they didn't do study abroad because it was so important to me. But yeah, it's been a really really long time since I started trying to go to American uni because I started looking at American unis when I was in like year 9 and I'm now about to go into third year of uni so as you can imagine that's quite a long time. But as they say, the things always work out for the best and I definitely think well fingers crossed that's what's happened here because I've got to enjoy an English university and I'm also going to get to enjoy an American university without a lot of the expense but yeah I just want to oh my god it's like zooming in and out and I'm focusing okay in my next video I'm gonna do a fixed focus because I've got it on autofocus at the moment but anyway that's besides the point let me know if you want to see any videos about the process of getting on a study abroad scheme obviously please focus obviously it differs from university to university um, but I'm sure that once you've done your kind of universities I'm sure once you've done your own university's application that if you're applying to an American uni it will be pretty much the same experience that I've had because I then had to do separate applications to American uni so I can talk about that and obviously about visas and things like that but yes let me know if you want those videos and obviously I'm going to be doing dorm room tour and you know like day in the life of a student in an American uni once I get there and I've already got like exciting things lined up for whilst I'm in LA so in September I'm going to see Marin Morris at the Greek Theatre which I'm so excited about because it's like an outdoor amphitheatre type thing and we just don't have them in the UK like we have stadiums but we don't have amphitheatres so that's gonna be exciting and um yeah my mum's coming over at Thanksgiving to see me and we've got some plans and we're gonna go and stay in a different part of LA to where the university I'm at is and then my dad and his fiance are coming over at Christmas so we're spending Christmas over in America 
as well, which was super exciting. I have actually been to America at Christmas time before. I went to New York the days leading up to Christmas when I was 15, so six years ago now, um, and we landed back home on Christmas morning. Um, but I think it's gonna be really interesting to see how it differs from like East Coast Christmas to West Coast Christmas, because I feel like it will be different. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to be avoiding the Cardiff rain for four and a half months whilst I'm there um, and having nice weather and being close to a beach. But yeah, it's exciting. So as of today, as of today, I am, as I'm filming this, I'm moving in two weeks, which is really, really soon. And I have started packing already because as you can imagine, I need to figure out what I need to take, what I'm missing and what I need to buy um, and what I need to buy over there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to probably film what I'm taking to LA with me, or if I don't get it filmed before I go, I'll be filming it whilst I'm unpacking there. And I'll probably do like a little travel vlog of going over there, moving in over there. Um, I think I'm moving like a week before my roommate because I'm an international student and our orientation is earlier. But yeah, that's just to update you guys on what's happening and why my content is not going to be in either London or Cardiff for the next few months. I will probably post a couple of videos other than this one I'm trying to film today. Um, but yeah, after that the content will all be in LA for the next few months which is exciting and then I'll be returning to Cardiff in January to complete my third year which is really scary but also kind of cool. I've started researching graduate jobs and stuff already because I'm sure this year is going to go really quickly. But yeah, that's my little update about, yeah. So now you know fully why moving to LA. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this very short, very chatty, rambly video. If you do want to know about the whole study abroad process in more detail, or even if you want to know about my original applications to American universities in more detail then please do let me know in the comments down below or you can message me on Twitter or Instagram my links are down in the comments box description box but my usernames are at katie underscore may07 and I will see you in the next video oh and please don't forget to subscribe